What's up again, everybody? We got some fresh news about the Flesh and Blood Arcane Rising expansion, which is getting closer and closer. Spoiler season is almost upon us, and I am super excited because we are going to take a look at cards from these four new classes. This was spoiled on Facebook like, <laughs> like a day after I posted that last Flesh and Blood video talking about the four heroes that we could possibly uh, see in that set. Well, they posted this like the very next day, so I guess I prefaced, I missed it by that much, or I guess maybe it was good I got it out earlier, because these are the four heroes uh, that they're going to be showing, and the four classes we can expect to be playing with in the second set of Flesh and Blood. Going from left to right, we see some things that I, I guessed correctly. The first one is the Alchemist. Alchemist there in the far left. Next to the Alchemist is the Ranger. And then next to the ranger is the necromancer. And then finally next to the necromancer is something that I'm really proud to say I called. <laughs> I did guess three of four of these. Uh, the far right there is the wizard. And it is a pyromancer, it would appear. Uh, the only one that I did not guess is that second one is the ranger. And it was funny. I posted that video like a, a week ago, a little over a week ago now. And uh, someone posted in the comments, they were like, these are great guesses. I will say, though, that in that lore book uh, where all the professions came from, there was a story about, you know, like an archer fighting uh, like a zombie in the pits. And I was like, ah, crap. <laughs> if I had that book, if I just read that one thing, I would have been able to fix that guess. And just there it is. You know, that, the information was right there in front of us. But uh, it's funny because the only one that I get that I uh, that I missed the one I didn't guess, the Ranger, is actually a class I made custom cards for about a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. Take a look. So this is th these are not spoiler images. I'm not I'm not saying that what you're about to see are cards that will actually exist. Uh, what I am saying is that this is a cool way to iterate or to expand the design space of. Uh, flesh and blood, in my opinion, for a class like Ranger. So this is the hero that I came up with. This is Ayala, Lonely Huntress. Ayala is a hunter hero that has 40 health and 5 intellect. So I've messed around with the intellect. Instead of the standard 4 intellect, instead of drawing up to 4 cards, now you draw up to 5 cards, which is a really, really powerful thing um, because obviously card advantage is huge, right? Uh, but there is a reason that I gave that five, uh, I would say, a buff, right? There's a reason that I did that. Take a look at her ability. It says, action, pay one, place a card in your arsenal, and then go again. So you're basically just able to pay and place a card in the arsenal. Now, why would you want to do that just like in the middle of your turn? There's no benefit as of right now. There's no benefit of playing something from Arsenal during your turn outside of like a few corner case, like non-class specific cards. Well, I did it because the weapon and the just the hunter class that I created benefits or plays around things coming out of your arsenal. So for example, if we take a look over at the weapon that I created for Ayala, we have uh, the hunter weapon, it's a bow, it's two-handed, it attacks for two, and it says once per turn action, pay one to attack. When you attack with true strike, you may discard a card from your arsenal. Yes, discard, not play, you discard that card that you put in your arsenal. And if you do, true strike gains go again, and may attack again this turn. So it's similar to the Dorinthia power, right? Uh, but this one's a little different in the sense that you're, thematically speaking, I guess, you're using that card in your arsenal. It's like you're reaching into your um, quiver, you're pulling out that arrow, you're firing that card from arsenal, that becomes the <laughs> the arrow, and you're dealing that damage or, you know, attacking with that weapon. and. Uh, once you've done that, you reload, putting a card into your arsenal, doing the whole little process again. And I do want to point out, it didn't say on the uh, on the action here, it did not say once per turn. It said just place a card in your arsenal. So essentially, my thought process uh, was take a card, put it in uh, from your hand, put it in your arsenal, paying one. Uh, attacking with true strike, firing your arrow, right? Tossing that card, basically just discarding it for two. Um, and then gaining go again, pulling this back, shooting, reloading, shooting, reloading, shooting, reloading. It's pretty cool thematically. Now, is that very good? Uh, 
I don't know, but it could be if they created, you know, like cards that played off of that, like stuff that did extra effects if something, you know, if it moves from Arsenal. I don't know, something like a hide piercing shot, which is an attack reaction. It says target weapon attack gains plus one, and if this card was played from Arsenal, Target weapon attack gains an additional plus two and pin. Now, all of the other classes have gotten a keyword. All of the other heroes, I should say, because technically we haven't seen any heroes that are from uh, the same class. So it could be that you know those those um, keywords are class specific, or it could be that um, you know dominate only goes with the hero that it's attached to, and intimidate only goes with the hero like Reinar. You get the picture, right? So I gave uh, Ayala, the hunter class, the pin keyword. And the pin keyword essentially says, when this resolves, target opponent's first attack during their next turn has minus two attack. Um, and this is an ability that already exists in game. Uh, I, I thought about different things that you could possibly do with this, and I thought it was just very thematic to uh, imagine if, you know, an arrow you know, pins your opponent's arm, right? They they are a little weaker in their attack. You know, if it, it pins them again, then their attack's even weaker. And so if you can get multiple pins going, then all of a sudden their uh, next attack on their next turn is basically useless. So then they have to play around that thinking, okay, well, this next attack that I'm going to play is minus eight. So if I'm not ninja, then I'm going to play this attack and it's literally going to do nothing. So what attack in my hand is actually worth you know, doing zero damage, and maybe it's attacking with a weapon. Uh, but all of a sudden, they have to change the way that they were planning on playing their ter turn because pin is now lowering that attack to basically nil. Um, but in a thematic sense, I think that's really, really cool. And I think it's really cool to take advantage of the arsenal, for example, as a zone um, and try to make it thematic and also uh, do new things with it. Now, will we see that? Uh, in the second Arcane Rising expansion, in this expansion, I don't know. You know, maybe that'd be really cool. Um, am, am I a, a card game designer? By no means. Okay, so these cards that I designed, you know, two months ago, are they good? I don't know. You know, I maybe they look they look kind of cool, right? I did I did a pretty good job uh, aesthetically. Right, I got everything. <laughs> I got everything there. But could these be things that we see? I don't know. But what I do know is that this channel will have some spoilers once the spoiler season kicks off. So keep your eyes peeled here because we are going to get to spoil some cards together, you and me. So if you like this content or if you want to uh, be here for when we spoil some brand new cards, hit the like and the subscribe. If you want to support this channel, see some more flesh and blood content, let me know in a comment below and uh, feel free to hop onto the Discord that we have in the link in the description. Or if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do that as well. The link's there as well. As always, everybody, thanks for watching.